Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our next 2009 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Bud Powell. His presenter, a former state medalist for Bud and now a current wrestling official, Mr. Rick McKinney. For Bud, it was always about the kids, which is sort of how he fell into wrestling in the first place. In 1967, Bud coached wrestling at Livingston High School for 12 years. Bud Powell's Matt career began as an assistant charged with keeping then Livingston head coach Henry Stone organized. Nothing technical, just make sure everything was in order. After two years of mostly aid work, Bud Powell was named head wrestling coach for Livingston High School. Bud studied film, tapped other coaches for information, and yes, he did coach with his nose in a book. As head coach for 10 years at Levinson High School, Bud turned a small rural town into a wrestling hotbed during the 1970s. Bud Powell coached his teams to league and section championships, and in 1974, his team placed second in the San Joaquin section tournament. Bud finished with 124 wins, 67 losses, and three ties, and had the state's number one ranked dual meet team. In that same year of 1974, at the height of a 21-0 season, Livingston knocked off Clovis High School, the eventual state champs. Three of Bud's wrestlers went on to earn state medals, the only three in Livingston history. Ron McKinney was the first and Rick was the second. Bud served on the executive committee of the Northern California Officials Association for 18 years. Bud was also an evaluator of officials at the CIF State Wrestling Tournament for 12 years. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2009 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Bud Powell. Well, two nice things about my appearance up here is my speech is very short and I'm the last one. <laughs> I have to explain, uh, I, I think, well, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank the committee for my selection to this. It was a total surprise, something I did not expect, and, uh, but it is something that I, I am truly grateful for. And I want to thank Lynn for all the preparation you put into these things, Lynn. And uh, I want to thank one of my old wrestlers, Rick McKinney, for nominating me for this. Uh, I'm happy to have here tonight uh, uh, my wife of 45 years, KD, and one of my sons, Michael, is also here. <laughs> we have two other sons. Uh, uh, one of them lives up in Washington, Blaine, Washington, where we now live. And our other son is over in Wenatchee, Washington, and they couldn't get off work, and so they couldn't be here tonight, but they're here in spirit for me. Um, <clears throat> the way I got into coaching Livingston High School was a rather strange ordeal. Many of you remember the uh, Henry Stone who coached at, at, uh, at Livingston. It was actually Henry Jr. His father was a coach at, at Cal, uh, Berkeley. And a lot of you probably remember him. But anyway, Henry was coaching at Livingston High School, and he asked me to be his assistant. And I said, Henry, I, I don't really know anything about this. Uh, he said, well, I really need somebody to keep me kind of organized. And so I said, okay, I'll do that for one year. I never envisioned that I would be coaching and officiating for the next 37. And, uh, but after that first year with, uh, with, with Henry, uh, Henry was a great, great man, uh, and he did need someone to keep him a bit organized, and a uh, very funny man, very good friend. Uh, he got mad at me one night there. He came out, and he was really mad, and I said, uh, Henry, what's your mad out? And he said, well, where have you been? He said, everybody's on the bus. We're, we're all ready to go. We're going to Sonora. I said, well, where are you going? He said, no, we got a match with Sonora. And I said, no, no, Henry, they're coming here. <laughs> and. Uh, he said, well, I better check that out, and he went on check. Sure enough, they, Sonora was coming down to Livingston, so he unloaded them and sent the bus driver home. <laughs> anyway, uh, <coughs> we were getting at that time about 20 to 25 uh, kids off for wrestling, and we were a small high school. Livingston was less than 500, and, but I noticed that a lot of kids were always hanging around watching wrestling, and I thought, yeah, you know, maybe I could start a little kids program. So I approached Alliance and the Rotarians and uh, asked them, would you buy uniforms? So I started a kids program in all the feeder schools, and they, and they fully agreed. So I used a varsity wrestlers as coaches. I was the official, and I refereed all the matches, and we had a tournament on the last day, and, 
And, uh, and so when these kids got ready to come into high school, Henry said, no, but I'm stepping down. And, uh, and, I, and he said, I want you to take it. And I said, well, I don't think I'm ready for that. He said, yes, you are. And uh, so he stepped aside, let me have the program. And then we started getting anywhere from 60 to 80 kids off of wrestling uh, from that program. And so it kind of went on from there. And we had some fairly decent teams over the years in the 70s. Uh, looking back, um, just as some of the things that were, you know, really fond memories for me. One thing about getting old, you lose your eyesight. I got to use these glasses here if you don't mind. Uh, the kids program in the 80s, uh, uh, and then working with Leroy Evans and getting the California U USA wrestling uh, kind of off the ground. I was following Leroy around all that time, and I don't know if Leroy uh, <coughs> ever realized this or not, but he was a great mentor for me in those days, and I really appreciate that, Leroy, for all that. You unselfishly shared a lot with me. And that really helped. Um, <clears throat> we had a lot of big tournaments when we started that, and I think you and I worked every one of those for several years. Um, and it all worked out in the end. But uh, you were a great motivator. And then I went into officiating, and and uh, <clears throat> and uh, I, I really uh, was thrown in a fire. Uh, I think it was about the third match. Stan Pavko. There's my 30 seconds. Gave me Clovis and Merced. And so I was baptized real quick into that. But uh, officiating was a great experience. I worked the state at the tournament a couple of times. And Lynn, I really enjoyed evaluating because, you know, I had 16 officials and Lynn always said, the bottom four, top four is easy. It's that middle eight. And you got a chance to see wrestling, you got a chance to see the young officials. And I really liked watching and evaluating the young officials to see who their upcoming ones were. You know, uh, on that NCAA for a number of years, and you know, I look back and, and uh, I loved every minute of all those experiences. It totally changed my life. And uh, the people in the sport of, of wrestling, you're just a great group. And there's so many friendships that uh, you develop that just last a lifetime. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, it was a terrific 37 years. And nothing could make it any greater than this honor. Um, I shall always cherish this moment and the time we spent together here tonight. Thank you very much. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bud Powell.